If you're watching this video, you're probably interested in a do-it-yourself laundry line. There's nothing like fresh laundry off the line. Some people build a laundry line to save money on electricity. Other people do it because they prefer clothing that has been hung and dried outside in the sun and the wind. I built this laundry line out of repurposed materials or scrap wood that I had laying around the house. It started its life as a canoe rack. Three years ago I bought a canoe. I would say I used it for the first two years, then for the third year it sat. But this year I ended up selling it. So I had this canoe rack in my backyard and decided that it'd be better served as a laundry line. Now if I started this as a laundry line from the beginning, they'd be spaced further apart, the two um, pillars. But again, I'm using what I already had and what was in place. And they are concreted at the, at the base into the ground with not a lot, but a little bit of concrete. So I extended the four by fours with two by fours and then I built the T part with the two by four as well. Now to keep the two by fours from bowing inward with the weight of laundry, I used a metal like electrical conduit pipe that I had laying around the house. Then I fastened that in between to give it some rigid strength so that the, like I said, the, the two, uh, two by fours wouldn't bow inward. There are four eye hooks on each side of the laundry line. And those are from the hardware store. I had to buy those. I didn't have them lying around. I got stainless steel, like three and a half inch length uh, eye bolts. So I put those in, get, gives me four lines going across. Now in hindsight, I'd, I would have put six lines going across. There was room for more. And in the future, I may actually add two more lines, but going with what I have, I used four lines and I used by using one piece of rope, I weaved it in and out and put a tensioner on one end so that I can tighten the line as it starts to sag through, you know, being in the weather, sun, time, wear. The metal pipe does come in handy for hanging heavier items like a comforter or in this case, I used it to hang up my rug because my cat decided to get rid of her dinner on it and I had to rinse it off and hang it to dry in the sun after cleaning it. So if you decide to build your own laundry line, I hope that this video may influence you in some manner and best of luck in your build.